Ivanka Trump fires back at critics in first post-inauguration interview with Gayle King and says time will tell that her father's administration is a success. Ivanka Trump is not holding back in her first post-inauguration interview, which will air Wednesday on CBS This Morning. In a preview of her sit-down with Gayle King, Ivanka responded to critics who have criticized her for not standing up more for women's rights and becoming complicit in aiding the agenda of her father's administration. If being complicit is wanting to, is wanting to be a force for good and to make a positive impact then I'm complicit, Ivanka tells King. I don't know that the critics who may say that of me, if they found themselves in this very unique and unprecedented situation that I am now in, would do any differently than I am doing. Ivanka then adds, so I hope to make a positive impact. I don't know what it means to be complicit, but you know. I hope time will prove that I have done a good job and much more importantly that my father's administration is the success that I know it will be. The rest of Ivanka's interview and more will air on CBS this morning Wednesday. Tuesday was perhaps the biggest, and busiest, day of King's journalistic career on Wednesday after scoring interviews with two first daughters. She kicked things off in New York City with a sit-down on CBS this morning with Chelsea Clinton before heading down to the nation's capital to chat with Ivanka Trump. King, 62, was seen pulling up in front of Ivanka's $5.5 million rental home in the fashionable Calorama neighborhood shortly after noon with her crew and glam squad, who made their way one by one through a thorough Secret Service pad down before heading inside. Also joining King and her five-person team was CBS This Morning senior producer Chloe Rensberg who is based in Washington, D.C., and Brian Gottlieb, a producer for the CBS Evening News. The pair arrived ahead of Gail and her team, and they were not the only CBS names who were seen at Ivka's house on Tuesday. Vice President of CBS News Christopher Risham, who like Rensburg is based in D.C., also showed up for the interview. Ivka kept things simple having her glam squad come and go early that morning before she headed to work at the White House, and returning home midday for the interview. She was joined meanwhile by Risa Heller, who has been working with Ivka over the past few months and runs her own communications and public affairs consultancy based in New York City. Heller could be seen walking next to Ivka while she was outside filming with Gail and arrived without fanfare in a leather jacket and oversized Goyard bag. She has previously worked with a number of Democrats, including Anthony Weiner, but last year was hired to do some work for Jared Kushner. Ivanka Husband was not home on Tuesday however to see his wife in action, and instead 6,000 miles away in Iraq.